Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create five different text animations inside of After Effects. This video is for anyone who is just getting started with After Effects, who wants to explore text animators inside of After Effects and create some very interesting animations. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start with creating a new composition. I'm gonna call this, or I'm gonna keep it 1920 by 1080 and call this title 30 FPS and let's keep this 10 seconds long. Hit okay. Then select the text tool and type in the text that we want. You can of course type in anything. I'm gonna type in creative and for the font, I'll use Babus, um, maybe light or light is a bit too light. Let's go with Babus book and increase the size. Set the kerning to zero. All right. Align this into the center. So here we have our text. So the first animation that we will create is using the tracking and the opacity. So to add this properties, let's go into the text, animate and add a tracking. And let's go into add go into property and add an opacity. Let's increase the tracking all the way up to 100 and then bring down the opacity to zero. Now if I go into the range selector, I can animate the offset and this is what we want. So at the very start, let's set the offset to minus 100, create a keyframe. I'll go to around one second and 15 frames and set this to 100. So we have this animation, but something doesn't look right. So to fix this, I'm going to go into the advanced properties and the shape. Let's set this to ramp up from square. And now we have this nice animation. Now to make the animation a bit more smoother, we can play around with the ease high and ease low. I usually keep the ease high to around 25% and ease low to 100%. So now if I preview this, we have a very nice and smooth text animation or text reveal using some very simple technique. Now let's move ahead and let's actually delete this animator. And now let's create a second animation. Now, before we get into it, I want to thank Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. In the ocean of online content, there's a lot of websites that take your info without even knowing it. You can stop websites from tracking your info and selling targeted ads to you with the help of Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is an app and browser extension that basically enables you to place your laptop or phone anywhere in the world and allows you to access the internet as if you were in that country. This lets you access and unblock websites and content that you may not be usually able to see. Just change your location and you can access a bunch of different Netflix libraries that may not be available in your country. Like recently, I wanted to watch some of the classic Marvel movies, but very few were available in India. So I switched my VPN to Canada and boom, good to go. Surfshark is the only VPN to offer one account to use on an unlimited number of devices. Use my coupon code DOPEMOTIONS to get 83% off plus 3 extra months and an antivirus absolutely free. Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee so there is no risk to try it out for yourself. Make sure to click the first link in the description below. So in the second animation is the simplest but the most classic one. It's called the position. It can be created using the position and opacity. So let's go into animate and add a opacity. Go into add property and add a position. All right. Let's bring down the position to let's say somewhere around 120 should be fine and bring down the opacity. Then go into the range selector. Go at the very start, set this to set the offset to minus 100 again, go to one second and 15 frames and set this to 100. Go into advance and set this to ramp up again and go into ease high. This time I'm going to set this to around 20 or 30 should be fine and ease low again to all the way up to 100. So now 
boom there we have a classic position and opacity animation now you can do a number of different things for example you can also turn on the randomize order and this will give you a very nice and different animation you can play around with the random seed as well to get a different look which looks pretty cool i think so that's that let's delete this and now let's create the third animation which is my favorite out of these five animations so for this we need to add a um, opacity we need to add a property of uh, scale and we need to add a property of um, blur i think yeah blur now for this animation make sure you select the text and check your paragraph alignment it should be in the center and not left or right so once that is checked also i don't think we need to use the scale instead of that i'll use a property of um tracking i'll set the tracking amount to minus 100 and let's increase the blur amount to somewhere on 80 should be good and bring down the opacity to zero then go into the range selector set this to minus 100 go to one second and um, 15 frames set this to 100 go into advance set this to ramp up and let's preview this and yeah there we have this very nice reveal again i'll set the ease low all the way up to 100 let's see what we get pretty nice now let's delete the animator one again and now let's jump to the fourth animation and for this we need to first of all go into animate and turn on or enable per character 3d so once that's done let's go into animate and add a rotation so now because we have enabled the per character 3d you can see we get three rotation axes that is x y and z and with this i will also add a property of opacity now i believe it was the y rotation yeah let's set this to minus 90 set the opacity to zero and let's animate using the range selector so let's actually set this to minus 100 create a keyframe and set this to 100 i should probably don't need to um, delete uh, or delete the animator or the range selector basically we can actually just delete these properties but yeah it's fine set this to ramp up set the ease high all the way ease low all the way up to 100 and boom there we have this really nice animation you can also tweak different rotation properties and that would make it a bit more uh, you know cool or different i think basically so if i want i can you know play around with the rotation and get a very unique animation looks pretty nice elegant and has a really nice you know flavor and a character in it which i really like by the way so yeah this is looking pretty good i think now let's jump to the final and the fifth animation so for this animation we can just keep the range selector as it is and i'll delete uh, the properties that we added and also turn off the per character 3d so we have the keyframe of the range selector all we have to do is add the properties that we need so let's go into the add go into property and i'm going to add an opacity and also i'll add a property of scale set the scale to zero and opacity to zero as well and now if i preview this we have this really nice reveal and then i'll go to around maybe one second let's add another animator of a position and then i'll go to around one second and let's duplicate this animator so hit ctrl d go into the animator too and we can delete the scale and the opacity uh, make sure you go into the keyframe and move them forward in time like so and then i'll go to add property and add a position let's move them let's set this to around minus 100 should be fine i think so after the animate in we have a little bit of movement as you can see pretty cool but to make this even more cooler i will turn on a randomize order and now if i preview this let's see what we get pretty nice so you can stack up number of different properties and create a really nice animation for example i can even uh, go into animator one add property and we can also add maybe a 
let's add a blur amount and increase this to around 30 or something so it will be a blur when it animates and then it will you know get the final look so i can increase this really nice and high so looks pretty good also one more thing i would like to do in the animator too is uh, play around with the ease low ease high sorry i'll set this to 25 percent so it looks a bit more smoother so there we have five really basic but very nice looking text animation inside of after effects so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon to get notified whenever i post a new video you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motion and if you are feeling generous please do support us on patreon and download some really amazing templates from there so that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out